vlogmas. Apologies for the slightly hectic way that this vlog is starting. I'm rushing out. I literally just spilled water everywhere. I need to put it in this coffee thing. Um, I'm literally rushing out to meet my mum. Okay, let me start this again. I'm rushing out to meet my mum. We're going to Costco and we are going during the week in the hopes of becoming very presentable. No, um, in the hopes of like avoiding the whole crowd. Sorry, we're going to try and avoid the crowd. So we're getting there a little bit early or as early as we can um, today. So I'm just gonna make a quick coffee. I'm also gonna make a mint tea to bring it in my glass. section um anyway and then i have this syrup just a little coffee enough to wake me up so yeah i'm gonna quickly get dressed i'm literally just gonna wear my usual uniform of running errands which is a fabletics set i should have actually ordered a new one from them um i've got another set coming from savage x fenty which is probably going to be like my latest new running errands i think mum's called me oh no she hasn't i need all the coffee i can get this morning haven't been sleeping well and i know the reason why it's a few reasons one haven't been able to train well this week i've been feeling really tired and i think when i don't train properly and get in the gym properly i don't sleep properly so there's that i also haven't been eating properly like i'm about to do it right now it's really annoying like i said to myself i'm not going to do this like i need to make sure that i'm eating like meals right and i just haven't been doing that so i think that's also contributing to bad sleep i also think on a separate note obviously you guys know i'm freelance and i'm self-employed so i often like don't switch off in terms of work and my work comes in many different streams from many different angles and apparently sometimes all at the same time and um because obviously i'm trying to do vlogmas as well i feel like just like a lot of things are going on so i think what i need to do first port of call i need to start training properly, get my routine properly so I can sleep properly. Then I'll be okay. I need to eat properly. If I don't eat properly, I'm not gonna be able to sleep properly. So there's that. Um, and then also another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, so I have another work phone anyway, which has like emails and stuff on it. But I think I need to get another SIM card and get another number so that everything is on that work phone. So when I switch off and I leave that phone wherever I'm leaving that phone or whatever, that's where it is it's over there <laughs> when i pick it up is when i like work and do like client work do you know what i mean at the moment i think what's happening is like it's kind of i don't know sometimes it's not really working out like that and then i'm pulled in too many different directions so i think just in order to get some structure in place i'm just talking out loud here because obviously as you guys know i'm on this journey right so anyway that's what i think i'm going to do so if i can find a sim card maybe they'll have one in costco i don't know but that's probably what i'm going to try and do by the end of the week. Anyway, I'm gonna get dressed. I don't know if my mum's gonna make an appearance on the vlog. Mum literally scurries off in Costco to like do her own thing and I'm like, first of all, this place is very large and very overwhelming. And second of all, like I don't wanna get lost in this place. So can you just like not scurry off? So anyway, um, I'm gonna get dressed. Whilst I'm getting dressed, I'm gonna roll some content that I filmed from a vlog that I was starting like last week, which actually just didn't make it anywhere. Um, <laughs> have some unboxings in there. So I'm gonna throw that footage in now. Also, excuse this angle, it's kind of weird to be all the way down here. But anyway, I'm gonna throw that footage in now. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll probably see you guys in the car or at Costco or some sort of hybrid of the two. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry to start the vlog off like this. I'm gonna pop you down, but um, I just came from my 5K run. I ran outside and yeah, I just got back in and I was like, you know what? Let me just start a vlog today because obviously it's Vlogmas um, and I've got a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. And today is pretty much an admin day. I am gonna film, I am gonna pop out a bit later, but um, I thought I'd just throw the camera on anyway. I got some gift in yesterday from Charlotte Tilbury and I really wanted to share it with you guys because honestly, this is one of the most generous um, PR packages I think I've ever received. And I really, really love the brand. I love Charlotte Tilbury so, so 
much. So I had a look at this yesterday and then I also got some stuff from Look Fantastic. So we're gonna just kick off with a little mini unboxing as well as an amazing adult gadget, which I've picked, that sounds actually really not, okay, wow. Charlotte Tilby unboxing, let's go. <laughs> so the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys was this, this is what they gifted me. If you guys are looking for gift ideas, this is a really, really, really good set. So I already have um, these products, but like the full size versions and I love them. But if you're looking to get a gift and you don't want to break the bank, this is definitely perfect because it has the toner, the serum and the cream. And honestly, like these are Jalox sample sizes. This is enough for somebody to decide whether they like the products or not. Um, I'm going to link this in the description box um, and I'm also going to pop it up in my stories today as well so that if um, you're following me on Instagram, because obviously like deals and stuff are running, you'll be able to see them. So those products tried and tested. I use these, I've used all of these, like an entire bottle of every single one, apart from the cream. The cream takes me forever to get through. So yeah, really love those products. This I actually haven't ever tried. So this is the Pillow Talk on the go kit. Um, this actually has a bit of everything in it. I'm also gonna get a little gift together because I'm seeing my friend later. We're gonna go and watch the Hunger Games. I'm so excited for this. It's like the prequel, I'm sure you guys know anyway. But if you've seen it, comment, let me know what you thought of it. Because by the time this is up, I will have already watched it. And um, I'm just so looking forward to it. Because I'm going to the Everyman and I've never been to the Everyman cinema before. So anyway, um, this is what comes in this kit. Again, if you're looking to gift, it's a great little gift situation. Um, this is an eyeliner, Pillow Talk eyeliner. It looks really nice. I mean, I'm really terrible with... Let me show you, sorry. I'm really terrible with eyeliner, but you know what? I wanna practice, I wanna get better. So you've got an eyeliner, you also have a Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I'm a mascara addict at the moment. I'm not too sure if that's focusing well, but here we are. So I'm gonna give that a try. Then we also have a Lip Cheat. This is their lip liner in in the shape pillow talk this is what it looks like i'm not going to swatch this because this i know i'm going to give away um my actually i'm not going to sit on camera because they might watch and then they'll see <laughs> then there is the pillow talk matte beauty blush wand easy buildable i'm such a liquid blush gal now like i don't know what i was doing before this is a really great size i'm going to try this out maybe i'll try this in a tiktok actually just like testing out some new makeup goodies that i have and then you also get a Pillow Talk Mini Lippy. I'm a Pillow Talk Medium wearer. Is it Pillow Talk 2 or Pillow Talk Medium? Let me show you. Oh, Pillow Talk 2 Medium. That's what I wear. Yeah, that's what I wear. I have the mini one and the full size one. I love that lipstick so much. So that's that. I'm actually going to recycle this now because I'm going to give that away. They also gave me this blush and highlighter palette. Look how cute this is. So this is the, oops, I think they've got a couple. They've got like a fair one. They've got a deeper one. This is the fair one that they sent me, which is going to make a really great gift. I mean, I could, I kind of want to keep it, but <laughs> let me just show you guys. That's what it looks like. So that's that so now what i have essentially is the perfect stocking fillers as well as some stuff for myself oh i don't want to like ram it back in because i am okay here we go oops the packaging's all busted now so these are now the perfect little gifts so that's someone done sorted and then i mean i love to use these products and keep them for myself as well of course but it is also really nice to gift them they've also given me two of the setting sprays which i love i have the full size one i think somewhere um actually no i have this size as well i only have a little bit left is this a smaller one hold on this is 34 mil let me see what this one is this i don't mind the box ripping because I ain't giving both away, mate. <laughs> okay, yeah, same size. 34 mil. So one of them's being given away and one of them I'm keeping. This is my keep pile. And then lastly, they gave me these iconic mini lip trios. I love their mini lips. So that Pillow Talk 2 medium, 
I used to take it everywhere, the mini one, and then I lost it. I don't know if you guys remember me saying in like previous videos, I was like, can't find my mini one, can't find my mini one. I found it the other day in a coat pocket. I was so happy. Um, but here's the new minis. I think they kind of like changed the like shades that they put in them each year. So this year we have a mini Walk of No Shame, which I think I have. No, it's red carpet red. Yeah, I do have a Walk of No Shame here already. So I can give this one away. So I can gift this one. But here is the shade. It's a really, really nice shade. But because I love the Pillow Talk Medium 2, I feel like that one doesn't really get a look in, unfortunately. Um, they've also sent me a, a Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I love. So this is a fresh one that I can keep. Or maybe give away. Let me think about it. And then this is a new like formula to me. I haven't used it yet, but it's in this shade. It is called Stoned Rose. So I'm really excited to see how that one looks on. So I'm gonna try that probably later today actually. So those are my Charlotte Tilbury pieces that I was kindly gifted. I'm gonna just recycle these bits quickly. I'm back i just got carried away on instagram i did some stories so make sure you guys are following me on my stories i did get sent this from Espa, which i unboxed over on my stories so on um ig i've really got like all my highlights like properly laid out so all of like the pr the gifting links and all that stuff so anyway i was sent this from Espa kindly i will just quickly show you guys because if you are thinking about gifts um and you want really that good bang for your buck this is really good i think it's 40 pounds but it's worth over 160 i want to say and look at the box it's really luxurious it's all skincare and then um so you've got a foaming pro cleanser um an oil a cream and then a detox mask which sounds great and then you've also got like a little facial cloth in here as well so that was gifted from Espar, which i'm really grateful for this is such beautiful packaging i really when you think of Espa, you think of like luxury spa like for sure um so that was that um the adult gadget that i want to show you <laughs> is this honestly this thing right here so in the winter obviously like i've noticed with the windows they get way more condensated than they do at any time of year obviously and I was looking at it, I was like reading an article that come up on like Apple News or whatever, I just talk about a dehumidifier. And I, you know what? I kind of at one point was toying with the Dyson humidifier, the one that is also a fan. And then I just like came down off of that because obviously they're really, really expensive. I've got this off Amazon, yeah. I wanna say it was 20 pounds, something like that. It wasn't that expensive. It's a little bit loud though, let me show you. That's pretty loud, isn't it? But basically, it just sucks all the condensation off of the window, um, which is just like <laughs> chef's kiss. Because usually in the mornings, I open the window, I wipe them down with the cloth, but the, clo the cloth gets soaking. The only thing with this is, though, you can't do it horizontal. You have to do it like that, um, vertical. So I've got like a little pain at the bottom, which is a little bit difficult for me to really get into, but I've like figured it out. There's no streaks. It kind of almost is like a window cleaner, I guess. So I'm actually gonna do a whole video, like a clean with me. I'm gonna do like a whole bathroom clean because I got from Primark yesterday, which is, I need to message um, Primark, hold on. Like for the longest year, I love my bathroom tiles. So I didn't wanna get a, um, bath mat because I literally my bathroom tiles I love them so so much it's a labor of love as well because I actually carried those tiles up the stairs so <laughs> like honestly I love these tiles so much but I don't know if I was saying to you guys but there's two different finishes on the tiles you can have like a shiny one or a matte one um but they look the same in time like in terms of design but in terms of the finish on the top they're different and because the, the tiles are huge like you you've seen the playlist for the home reno the tiles are absolutely huge so i didn't want to buy two different finishes i just kept them all the same because i thought it would like be better in terms of like saving money what i can use on the wall i can use on the floor and da, 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 da. so anyway all that to say the the floor because it's a shiny finish 
when you mop it, it needs to be buffed afterwards, if that makes sense. So if any of you guys have any suggestions for micro, like a, an electric microfiber mop or something, let me know. Um, I'll explain more in that clean with me video because I'm just gonna have to like, just do it either with the microfiber cloth under my foot. Sorry, by the way, if you're not into cleaning and you don't care about cleaning, this is just, and you're not like adulting, you're not peak adulting, this is gonna be so boring, but um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to like clean like I was saying to my mum, do I just get on my hands and knees and like scrub the floor, like buff it out with the, with the cloth? And she was like, no, just put it under your foot and then do it that way. And then my other friend was like, oh, you can just get the mop. Cause I've got that flash mop for everywhere else in the house. You know, the one with the, um, the like wipes that you put on the top anyway. And my friend was like, no, just that like, kind of stick a cloth to the bottom of that and use that. So I'm going to do that anyway. My mind runs in circles, chat, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I picked up this bath mat from Primark and it says bonjour. <laughs> there was another one which was like, probably better suited to the like color scheme. It was like a kind of goldy, browny, nudey, um, chenille, like bobbly mat. Um, but then I saw this and I was like, oh, this is just so cute. Really, really cute. This is only six, oh, sorry, nine pounds. Let me not lie to the people then. So yeah, anyway, before I lay this down, I have to clean that place from top to bottom. So I'm gonna use this on the shower screen. I do have another like little cheap squeegee thing, which is not electric, which I got from Lidl. And that also has like a little scrubby brush thing, which is great. Cause I'm gonna be able to like get the um, grout. The only thing I'm missing before I start that video is um, white vinegar. Like I feel like, Everybody in my area knows that white vinegar is used for cleaning, innit? So there's no white vinegar in any of the shops ever. So I've got this white vinegar spray. I don't know how concentrated it is though, because really and truly, if you know about cleaning, the white vinegar is just gonna do what it needs to do. So if I can find that at some point, that would be great. So anyway, that's my fun little spiel over. I'm gonna hop in the shower. When I get back out, I'm gonna make a gift box for my friend that I'm meeting up later. So that's done and that's dusted. And then I'm gonna get on with the rest of the day. I, I've need to make a to-do list because I've got a fair few things that I want to do. It's Friday today. I'm on the camera looking a little bit more presentable than this as well, chair, but um, that's it for now. <laughs> also, fun fact, mum hates driving with me, so maybe I won't vlog in the car and I don't know why I'm actually, I've, I've never ever given her any reason to believe that I'll be a chaotic driver, but she just, and also she drives a lot of my cousin Curtis. My cousin Curtis drives like a mad person compa by comparison to me. She's always passenger princess in with my cousin Curtis and never says anything to him. She gets in my car and it's just like, yeah. So anyway, maybe we were <laughs> vlogging the car. I've arrived. I'm about to go absolutely mental if this person takes the space from me because I'm fucking indicating brethren. And I'm reverse parking because when I'm ready to go and leave places, I don't want to have to be doing that manoeuvre, manoeuvre. I just want to put my key in the car, turn the ignition and zoop zoop. And I hate when people are in your back when you're trying to park. It's like, no, 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 no. Don't rush me. Anyway, all that to say, I've arrived safely. Mum just got outside because we saw someone with a space and with a trolley. Mum goes, I'll get the trolley, you get the space. And we're here. Battery's flashing, don't fear. Got a spare. So I thought I'd just jump in and do a quick voiceover just to talk through some of the footage that I got in Costco. Excuse my voice, I'm a little bit sick at the minute, but um, as you guys can probably tell from my haul at the end of this video, I absolutely love the nuts in Costco. I feel like I don't really necessarily pick up the healthy ones, but there are healthy ones in there if you're interested. This next clip is so funny, like I was so discombobulated, I managed to like film my foot. I don't know how. <laughs> But I thought, ah, let me leave it in there. It's a slight outfit of the day. Um, I also looked through the um, granola bars, which you guys will see. I did actually pick these up. They actually are um, really good value for money. I didn't pick up the lentil chips, but I did, however, pick out these pretzels. These pretzels are always 
10 out of 10. I love them so much. I also looked at these larger mason jars, but next year I definitely want to be watching what I'm eating a little bit more. And I thought, you know what, they're, like, they're actually perfect for putting like biscuits and like naughty snacks in. So I gave them a miss. I did also look at some of like the dinnerware and like hosting options, serving bowls, that's what they're called. <laughs> um, they looked pretty good. I also loved the look of this Lazy Susan. The bowls were so cute. They had quite a lot. The ones that I'm showing here, they're a little bit shallow, um, but they did have deeper ones, which did have a lid on it as well. And then these were like the larger, more like pasta bowls, I guess, or serving bowls as they're known as here. They were really, really nice, actually. Mum kept on reminding me to look at the small price, not the big one, because I kept on getting excited and thinking, oh, that's really cheap. Mum's like, that's the wrong price, babe. So I decided to pick out some fresh produce. I really had to Honestly, all of the desserts I had to really look past, but they had like profiteroles, Victoria sponges, birthday cakes in there. Like, honestly, if, I'm sure you guys know already about Costco, but they just have a little bit of everything. I love the look of the um, these little mini croots. I didn't know exactly what they were, like croissant donut mix. I'm not too sure, but the cakes, as always, looked phenomenal. It's happened. Mum has left me. <laughs> So, um, essentially I look like a mad person talking to myself, pushing a trolley. Oh, <laughs> I was telling them that you've left me. Yeah, I'm here. Mum's back now. Um, okay. Guess how much these strawberries are though. Eight pounds? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. That's it, but it's supposed to be alive. Ten pounds. They look beautiful. They do look juicy. My issue is, oh, this looks nice. Luxury fruit cake. Mm. My issue is, I'm sick of buying produce that goes off. So I'm, I'm like, let me just try this out now. What did you see down there? Uh, I do want to pick up some sushi and some frozen gyoza, and then I can be done. And it's also quite funny because all of this stuff is not going to fit in that one bag that. I've got, got some ham in the bag that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's cold. When I got into the car, I could see my breath. Oh, maybe pizzas as well. Maybe pizza. Uh, me and George got smoked salmon the other day. Decided that we don't really like it much anymore. So. Uh, this one's in. Times like this, I kind of a bit upset that George doesn't eat meat because really that could be a quick, easy thing. That now these wings. Half of the case Say that again. I kind of fancy getting them and then just putting it with salad or something. Yeah. Oh, cheese. Yeah, exactly. I kind of want to look at pizza as well. What, the beef stew? Yeah. Mom, let me show you. This looks right. Um, mint tea in here and it's full. So I didn't know how long you'd have me out on the road for. So I thought, let me bring my tea. Um, you can sit down, Mom, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I buy a pizza? Man. Can I see out the window, do you think? Okay. It's the, um, the crisps. Yeah? Yeah. I could take them out. No, yeah. it's fine. All right, let me just do this. I do a little bit of food. Have you been looking at yourself in the camera? Is it, it's not on though. It is, it's recording. Why? You because can see me I'm eating. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I can blur you out. Mm. I can just put a blur. A little element of mystery, like who's who's Raquel's mom. Mm. That way, yeah. when you get mad and cuss a stranger in the street, nobody they can't say. Down. Exactly. We're cutting you down. <laughs> <laughs> can you pull all this from it? Oh, you ain't got a hand. I don't have a hand free, unfortunately. But it's been good. It's been worth my little trip, and it's been nice. Costly. What's the time? After one, one thirty now, I'd say. I don't even know. One thirty quarter to two. 
Got some nice gyozas. Yeah, but he has some nice he's nasty not afterwards. Any, <laughs> he's not getting any gyozas. Yeah, he's not using the using the cover cushion. Coat the heated oh. blanket. He's he oh, talking nice. Really better than IKEA. Yes, it's very tasty. Do you want me to smell dirty? No, okay. no, that's alright. And it's then the pizza pizza's in. very school dinners like, oh. but nice. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Got that school dinners feel to it. <laughs> but nice. A bit cold though. Mm. We parked a bit further back, so we're not being hassled for our space. Mm -hmm. People can't actually see us. That's Which is true. nice. Mm. And there's a big white space, but they're meant to be actually. But you're more for the trolley. Side. Yeah, it is. I am parked really too far on this side. But at I? least you can get the trolley down it. If you were mm -hmm. in the bag in the middle, you wouldn't. Exactly. So you've done the right thing. Very it nice. was unintentional. Mm, but worked out well in the end. It was a small car as well. Mm. Just about able to get everything that we ordered in the back. Mm. To be honest. Yeah. But uh, George enjoyed the football last night. Yeah, he was there with his... Um, his friend came as well. Oh, nice. He lives right around the corner, so they... Then Carp and they go together by the comeback. Mm. The, he, the friend goes with him and his dad. Okay. Mm. It's his friend that works at Sky. Mm. Did I tell you that George moved over to the Sky? Uh -uh, uh -uh. Yeah, his phone bill, not his. Not his... Oh, yeah, I think we, we had a yeah. discussion. Uh -huh. We talked about it. Mm. Only because he must have rang my phone and he said, Meet the pan Sky. Mum. <laughs> I could have got him a better deal. No, his mate worked for this. His mate got him a deal, isn't it? And it rolls over. That's, that's what. what said. Yeah, that's my main thing with it. It rolls over, and you can use that data to buy other stuff, like other products, or take it off for the price of a new iPhone. Or I've got a lot there. But one of my, I've got two contracts, and Charlotte's one's not doing anything, so the, the data is just rolling right over. Uh. It's not being used. But I might trade it in and get another handset at some point. Maybe I don't know. But I've been them. I think is it 17, 18 years? More than that. I want a handset. Yeah, or you can trade it in for other things. Oh, it yeah, rolls over into a piggy bank and then you can use it. Either give it back to them and use it yourself or whatever, or purchase stuff with it. This kind of just reminds me of the Arsenal Stadium, I don't know why, oh, but yeah. it's red and white. <laughs> the old Arsenal. Of, yeah. Hybrid. Yeah, made me think about them. That guy we took the spot off had all Arsenal training clothes on, did you see? Mm -hmm. oh. He had Arsenal training, jumper, trousers, everything. Is it? Mm -hmm. I didn't realise. He was nice. Mm. Is that your husband at home? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, sorry, I passed out. Yeah, she's going to work at home. She's see her sister. There's no clerks in there to draw me this time. What I've discovered... Mm. <laughs> Mum was on better form today because she didn't need me that much in there. She did it in a way that was conducive to the two of us. <laughs> I was pre-warned. From yesterday on the phone. But... What I have realised about mum, my next thing to contend with is, oh yeah, me and me sister, me and me sister. Because <laughs> mum gets stuff and she splits it with my auntie, so I'm, I'm still not part of the crew. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next time, I'm going to tell my cousin to move out so it can be me and my cousin, me mm -hmm, and my cousin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you'll probably go, with Curtis, yeah. still. <laughs> Alright, this you didn't want to taste any of the crust? Mm, I, I don't think I did now, I couldn't kind of tear it properly. But the hot dog was nice, you've right? Not eaten, you've not eaten I any of this. Side. Oh, wow, the slice is so big it's that massive. I thought you hadn't had any. Oh, I need some to heat that up for me. Mm. In the oven, or the yeah. air fryer. Yeah. I think. Keep glass in the air fryer. Let's just... Um, for me to get the best out of that. Then we'll throw it over and get it covered this side. Perfect, now. Also, where they sell foil in Costco, when they give it out... Oh, they use their tip foil. They just throw this, they, they don't care, they're just throwing this on there. Okay. At home I use it well sparingly. Yeah. Alright, you can put it up on the floor. Okay. Actually no, I put it up there. Are we putting it in the bin? Yeah, is there, yeah, you don't want the smell in there, let me do There's that. not even the smell, it's just... Do you want anything else for the bin? No. Get your drink there. Yeah. Actually my first time having any food in Costco. It's really nice. The hot dog was nice. I think I've shot my coat in the door. Okay now. <laughs> Right, let me move this down here. Car is so filthy. Need to clean it so bad. So, 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 so bad. But 
kind of glad it's dirty because we've just spilled onions in here. I'm gonna have my drink. And I'm gonna drive to my auntie's now. One thing about me though, I was telling you a lot earlier, my routine is so off, I can feel it. I can feel it on my body. I can see it on my body. So I need to get back on track because I feel so off. But yeah, we'll get this little trip out of the way. When I get home, I'll do a haul. I won't be back for a while because I'm gonna, my, as I said, my mum split stuff with me sister. So um, <laughs> we have to go and split the wash it up, uh, plate washing up thing, the hand washing up thing, the bleach they split, they split their toilet rolls. They split everything, mate. I'm just not part of the action. So if any of my cousins are watching, where you at? We need to split stuff. Anyway, let me set this phone up. My friend was here earlier as well. I was on the phone to her on the way. She was getting her mum and coming to Costco. And then I was getting my mum and coming to Costco. It's so funny because my friend lives actually around the corner from my mum. I said, babes, next time we're going to have to carpool because <laughs> now I'm going to drive past my house to go back to my mum's house. But my auntie lives in, like, in between the two of us, I guess, but closer to me, I'd say. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's been great. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Thanks for watching me unpack while my mum sat here in eight. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Found you guys. I thought I'd left you in the car, but I've just found you in one of the shopping bags, which I obviously had to borrow from my mum because I didn't bring enough bags whatsoever. Let me get the tripod and prop you up. Actually, no, there's no point because I've actually unpacked everything. I'm going to show you what I got and I'm also going to include prices where I can. I'm going to start off with the sushi. Is that all I got for 133 pound? Ross, okay, um, I'm going to start with the sushi because I'm going to bang that in the fridge. And then I also did, I also put my gyoza in the fridge. I feel like I'm getting sick by the way. I'm so sorry if I sound like sniffly. So the prawn gyoza, one kilogram pack, 10.49. They are my absolute favorite. At some point during Vlogmas, I'll show you exactly how I use them and how it, exactly how I make them with the sauce and everything because it's so good. I also have some udon noodles here. So I'm thinking about making like a soupy type situation, but I probably won't. So let me know and say that. Um, and then I also got chicken gyoza, which I don't usually get, but they said, <gasps> okay, fine. They said that it was two pound off. So that's why I picked them up. Have they taken the two quid off or what? Because I don't know what bit. Yeah. One thing about Costco, I don't like the way they do their receipt. Like, I don't like that. Anyway, so um, that was, instead of a tenner, it was eight pound, which I think is an absolute bargain for all them gyoza. I'm a gyoza monster, so, babe, I didn't, I didn't leave the camera in the car. I do have it, it's fine. All right. Okay, okay, so the sushi is, like it's 12 pounds or something. Also, I'm sorry that I didn't get much footage in there. There were some people that saw me vlogging in there and they were like, they were smiling and stuff, but it's, it's actually very awkward and you guys know me. I'm not an awkward person like that, but it was just like, yeah. Okay, wait, why can't I find the sushi? The water is 350. That is an absolute bargain for all them waters. Oh, so that's 12.99 for the sushi. The price is on the freaking thing. Can't make this up, mate. I've just looked on the receipt for so long. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot wait to tuck in. Fridge is looking a little bit sad at the minute, isn't it? Gee whiz, me. Fridge is looking a little bit sad. I'm gonna eat these grapes in a sec. Um, okay, so let's see what the rest. This is my favorite thing to pick up in there. It's the Kirkland Signature Cashew Clusters with Almonds and Pumpkin Seeds. I only got one pack. I think mum got two, actually. Um, and these are... Cashew clusters. Okay, no, they're not the cashew clusters. I wanna say that, geez, cashew clusters. These are 849. Absolutely love them. I don't think they're that healthy though. In fact, I don't think much of the stuff that I picked up is healthy today, but we are where we are. Then I also got these cashews, which are butter toffee cashews, and they are 779. I haven't tried these before. Keen to try them. Whilst we're in the snack section, I picked up these caramel and pretzel clusters by a brand called Snappers, I think that is, or something anyways. Um, yeah, Snappers, 10.99. So I mean, like, look, what do we think about the pricing? 
I don't think that's a huge bag for 10 99 but you know what it is? It's like the part of me that's just like, oh, I won't find it in the normal supermarket, so let me just grab it, do you know what I mean? Um, Mum and my sister don't like salt and vinegar crisps, so she unboxed all the salt and vinegar ones and gave me some. Um, I also picked out some avocados. These were, I thought these were quite a good price. So these were $3.69 for these three and they're organic and they seem to just look like better produce. At the moment, what I'm finding is in the supermarkets, the produce is not lasting as it usually does. It's just going off so quick. And with the whole cost of living thing, it's really winding me up. So I picked these out. So I'll have to see what the um, uh, quality is saying of those. They're not ripe yet. So obviously, as you guys know, Costco, there's a bag of samples. We had a chicken drumstick, we had prawn crackers, we had dried pears, we had naan bread, we had pomegranate juice, and we also tried this out. So these are organic flavored sparkling juice beverages. I wanna say that they're like six pounds. Uh, Paul B juice. Well, what other juice have I got? Bloody hope that's it. Uh, I thought that she said it was six pounds that I'm doing. Okay, maybe it's 5.49. Yeah, it is. It's $5.49 for these three, which I don't think is bad. There's apple pomegranate and then there's apple and peach. It's a bit like Schler, but like a little bit lighter. Like if I'm honest, I just prefer the taste of this. Um, oh, that's the name. It's Paul Brassac. Um, flavoured sparkling juice, no added sugar, non-alcoholic, gluten-free. Um, tasted really good. I tasted both flavours and I think they will taste great with... Um, rum <laughs> so that's that um these i think were quite a good price and what drew me to them is 100 calories per bar is pretty good and um, this is the soft and chewy kirkland makes so i want to say we know yeah so this was 9.99 which is 64 bars so i think that's bad at all i'm not gonna lie typically i get my calculator out and i work out the price per bar just to know but i didn't do that this time around let's have a goosey to see how big the bars are. Am I going to keep them in this box? No, I ain't. Um, well, they are a little bit. That's why there's only 100 calories because the bar ain't that big. But <laughs> I need something like this when I'm on the go. Like, I have the Belvita biscuits in there or like the Belvita little, little ones. Um, so anyway, that's that. Bagels. I have a bagel shop that I love um, and I think 12 bagels in there is about... I have to double check. But... Um, I am pretty sure they're maybe like 12 pounds for 12. Um, and I picked up 12 for five pounds, I believe, because I think it was two for, yeah, two for 4.99 with the bagels. How mad is that? So what I do with these is I just cut them up, cut them in half and I put them in the freezer. So um, tomorrow I got a plain one, they had sesame and then they also had the cinnamon and raisin ones, which I actually really like with savory stuff like eggs and spinach um so i will cut these all up and put them in the freezer apart from um i'll leave a couple out because we've got cream cheese we ain't got no salmon dough so that's the end of that anyway penn state i'm pretty sure these are 369 for these so yeah not the cheapest i want to say don't tell me it's more than yeah 369 for those guys this i do remember the price of these strawberries are 10 pounds <laughs> like have i done myself there have i done myself for what 10 pound but like i was saying you guys i'm really upset with the quality of the produce in the supermarkets at the minute so i want to give this a try because obviously these have been imported i mean i know everything is imported really but anyway 9.99 for these my lemons i thought were a good price um three four mm, am i making it up am i making it up how much are my lemons yeah, lemons, 2kg, 3.49. I have a lot of lemon water all the time, so I'm really looking forward to using it for that. Um, what else do you guys use your lemons for, apart from to like cook and clean as well? Like cleaning fish and meat and stuff like that. Let me know what else you use it for. I might do like a lemon butter kind of something. Salmon, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, this... I meant to be going on a cut, right? But here we are, right? I've picked out these marshmallows. Um, they are the chocolate covered ones. There's a brand in the supermarket. I think it's just called Mallow. I'm not too sure. I really, really, really like them ones, um, but I couldn't see them in there. So I picked up these. These are like a sea salt caramel. Um, these sound phenomenal. Let me tell you the price. Uh, hold on, my eyes are going crazy right now. I'm so tired. 
And the thing is, every time I've looked at the menu, every time I looked at the receipt, the marshmallows jumped out to me. But now when I'm actually looking for them to tell you guys the price, they're not jumping out at me at all. What's happening here? Granola, marshmallows. Okay, $7.99. Ciao. <laughs> then I picked out this. This I'm actually really keen to use. It's a topper. It's pomegranate and almond, and it just... You can add it onto porridge, yogurt, and salads. This I think will be really great for me to add onto porridge. I need to get back on my porridge game. This I want to say was $9.99. Yeah, $9.99. Not the cheapest. And then I also lastly picked up some tender stem broccoli. And that was how much was that? The tender stem broccoli, which by the way, two months ago I found out it was tender stem and not tender stem. Um, that was $3.49 or $3.69. So that's my little haul. All of this came to 135 quid. We'll see how far it gets us. I just love the novelty of going to Costco. Me and mum also got some food in there as well, which was really, really nice. I think next time if I've got like enough time, I might just grab a jacket potato because I absolutely love a jacket potato. I'll, I can bang out a jacket potato. It's like... 10 10 anyway i'm gonna put all this away and i'm gonna end the vlog here just because i think it's quite lengthy <laughs> and i'm doing vlogmas so i'm going to pick up the camera again tomorrow so might as well end this vlog here but thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my little costco haul comment below let me know what your favorite finds are in costco and let me know what you guys want to see this vlogmas i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up it really helps me out i feel like because everybody's doing vlogmas i'm a smaller content creator and i think sometimes the smaller content creators our videos get lost because the big people are that the big dogs are out yeah i'm myself i'm watching the big dogs too so yeah don't forget about your smaller creators please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment engage all that stuff um but that's it i'll see you guys very soon bye